It is very, very common among people. And if you look at this again, turning it on its head, it's an extremely positive thing to have. If you really go back to the jungle principles, if we look at chimpanzees in the wild and see what this part of the brain is doing for them, do they have imposter syndrome? The answer is they do. The way they have imposter syndrome is they'll suddenly sense, maybe they don't think I'm up to the job. Now, if a chimp is thought to be a weak link, the troop will exclude the chimp because it's using up food and vital energy that they can't afford. So every chimpanzee must demonstrate its right to be in the troop. And if you translate that across, our primitive brain is doing something similar. It's saying, I might not be up to this job, and therefore I'm, I'm becoming an imposter. And somehow the rest of the troop are going to find me out. And if they find me out, they could exclude me. Now, for a chimpanzee in, in the wild, that's almost tantamount to death because a solo chimpanzee can't survive in the jungle.